hello everyone welcome back in this video i'm going to show you how you can create list pages in business central so here this is my first table called classes so for this table i want to create a list page let's click on this page folder and create new folder here called new and again choose pages and click new folder and then write extension so in new folder i will create all my new pages and in extension folder i will create all my page extensions so click on new and then choose this new file button or directly right click on it and click on new file let's give first id to my file name then classes then dot page it is a list page then list dot al hit enter let's divide my table on the right side so here on page list if you want to create a list type page you can directly use snippets so in this case i will type t and then page from here i can choose the type of page that i want to create in my case this time i want to create list pages so i will choose this second code snippet by default it will give us the layout and actions all the format for us to create a page now give an id to your page give a name to your page class list then in source table type table name here in my case the table name is classes or we can just make it class it's not so difficult to change a table name when you didn't enter any of the records in it so here uh, i told this is just a class table so i am edited the file again so this is okay now add some fields to my list page so in our case the first field is id then application area equal to true to make it visible to the page here you can see uh, there is a warning it says you must have to use record dot because in future it will become an error so as you know record holds the record of a current detail so just enter record dot id so let's create another second is name table rec application area equal to all to make it visible then again new field that is active record then application equal to all then another field is mode record dot application area equal to all and the last field is fee so here i already said application area all so it will be available whenever i am going to search this page will be available and in users category as you can see here list is by default because this is a list page so i am making the users category for this is as a list not any other because whenever you are creating a card page a document page you can choose documents whenever you are creating setups you can choose administration but in my case this is a list page so users category is list now if i go down here we are also able to create some attach some fact boxes this is related to actions whatever the action that i want to create if uh, i have any then i will provide the details here 
and otherwise i can just make it commented so this is done so let's try to deploy this as you can see the table classes is missing because i just try to change the name of my table but from other places it is still classes so just i have to make to the changes make sure whenever you are doing these kind of updates then try to update everywhere wherever you have used and last one is classes so i have done with the dates so let's press f5 to deploy the changes sometime it will happen because my classes cannot be located because i have deleted it and change with a new name to resolve this error i can go in launch dot json and here schema update mode equal to for sync again press f5 to deploy the changes and let's see what will happen as you can see here my class app has been published successfully to the server and when i will go back to the browser it will open the page number 22 that's a customer list because it will take a little bit time after deployment to open directly that page so i directly refresh here and try to look my class list page so here this is my class list that is created you see now this is redirected and opening the customer list page so this take little bit time here this is my list page that i have created we can do changes or we can add some records in the class table from this page very easily so my first class name is business central active mode is live and fee is 10000 so this is the record that is updated now if i try to look into the table equal to 50100 this record will be there here this is the record as you can see here there are some other field that is managed by default by the business center that is system id created at created by modified at and modified by so these are the information by default uh, managed by the business center itself so this is how you can create a list page and enter some values directly by editing the list I hope uh, you understand how easy it is to create a list page and insert a record in a table. That's it for this video. In next videos, I will also show the same process to create other list pages for my other tables. Thank you for watching.